The spread of the coronavirus in the European Union challenges our health systems. We need to protect our health workers who are in the first line of defense against the virus. We must safeguard them with protective equipment, masks, gloves, protective garments, etc. We work on three fronts. First, we are working with the industry to ramp up production. Second, we need to keep in the EU the protective equipment that we need. This is why we adopted today an export authorization scheme for protective equipment. This means that such medical goods can only be exported to non-EU countries with the explicit authorization of the EU governments. This is the right thing to do because we need that equipment for our healthcare systems. Third, we need to share that equipment in the European Union. National bans on selling protective equipment to other member states are not good. We need to help each other. No country can produce on its own what it needs. Today it is Italy that rapidly needs large quantities of medical goods, but in a few weeks other countries will need it too. By producing more, keeping it in the European Union and sharing with each other, we can protect our health workers, patients and contain the spread of the virus. This is why I propose this European solution today. Also, we need to keep goods flowing across Europe without obstacles. Just imagine, as we increase production of medical equipment, factories cannot get the components they need in time. Thousands of bus and truck drivers are stranded at internal borders on parking lots, creating more health risks and disrupting our supply chains. If we do not take action now, shops will start facing difficulties in refilling their stocks of certain products coming from elsewhere in the single market. In this moment of crisis, it is of utmost importance to keep our internal market going. In general, measures taken at national level can only be effective if they are coordinated with neighboring countries, in particular in border regions. The European Commission is working around the clock with the national governments on all these fronts. Tomorrow we will launch joint public procurement with member states for testing kits and respiratory ventilators. These are badly needed for our patients across Europe. Also tomorrow we will present guidelines to national governments on border measures. Protecting people's health should not block goods and essential stuff from reaching patients, health systems, factories and shops. We will be successful if we work together and rapidly on a coordinated response. The challenge we face requires it.